Hey everyone, my name is Ralph Wong and I am here with another gameplay video for Badminton Warrior. Today we are doing the space stage. Now you'll notice I can't jump any higher. The idea is he's in a space station with artificial gravity. What I can do is teleport. Ooh. This is a shield bot. If I just try to hit him straight, usually it's going to hit him in the shield. So I have to figure out another way to get to him. I like to smash him in the head. Here's another shield bot. And this guy, because he's up high, it's really hard to get high enough to smash him unless you use the teleporter. Yes, the projectiles can teleport as well. Ooh, the Corsair. That's an old World War II plane, I believe. Oh, sometimes I like to have a little fun with a teleporter here. Living on the edge. On the other side of this is a switch door and I have to somehow get that shuttlecock to hit that switch so let's try to do that yes alright oh, soccer cannon just gonna smash him Another shield bot. There we go. Okay, there's two different ways to take care of this guy. I'm gonna show you probably the easier way. You jump here, then both of them are thrown at you. Which is okay. You just take care of one and you take care of the other one, or you can just leave them. Aha, the fire breather. This was the first enemy I ever made. I'm not sure exactly how he fits into the game because he's not sports themed, but I liked him so much I just like, I have to get him into the game somehow. I mean there's a few enemies that aren't exactly sports themed, like the spider cannon, so it's okay. Whoops. Now these fire breathers have a lot of hit points. Usually I try to hit them with some slams to try to take down that damage fast. I also like to hit them with a smash from the spider cannon's projectile. Yeah, there we go. Alright, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. I designed it so that you had to use the teleporter as part of your combat. Now as you notice, the lacrosse block can shoot at you, but there's no real way to get at him. Unless, you use a teleporter, so let's try that. Alright. Okay, again, this guy's up high, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to hit him. And I'll use a teleporter. Now let's hit that switch, and we're through. There's several ways to handle these guys. I'm going to try this first way, which is to clear and then smash through that teleporter. Now the second way is I'm going to just jump through right before he shoots. There we go. Uh, another shield bot. I want to see if I can show you a different way to try to hit him. So. If you can time it correctly, 
I can clear this. Ah, almost. There we go. Personally though, it's just a lot easier to just clear this thing up and then smash it back at him. It's easier and it's faster. Alright, let's see who our boss is. Dr. Emery Vile. Wait, don't say a word. I invented a helmet that will let me read your thoughts. You are here to admire my supreme dodgeball playing skills. Ral, actually, I was hoping to get your spare key to Hades. Dr. Emery Vile. My god, do you know what this means? Ral, what? You are a liar! I must be destroyed! Now, Dr. Emery Vile is actually a mix, a combination between Dr. Emmett Brown from, uh, I think that's his name, from Back to the Future, and Dr. Arkaville uh, from The Transformers. So again, using my uh, childhood memories in my game. So let's take him on and see what he does. So he's a dodgeball guy. He's jumping and he's throwing dodgeballs at us. So far this is pretty easy. Uh-oh. Now notice his teleporters will teleport me to that top one. And now he's created teleporters and he's using it to his advantage. And we gotta figure out when he's gonna jump through. So we can hit these things back at him. And not get surprised. Yeah, you wanna jump through that hole that is in between the teleporters. Uh oh. Okay. And sometimes you can jump up and smash him. Alright, maybe he's gonna jump through. Oh, he's almost dead. One more. And he is gone. There you go. Now this was one of the bosses where I had to make easier. I remember one of the players said that he couldn't even land one hit on him when uh, I had the difficulty set pretty high. But like I said, I'm listening to the player's feedback. I'm trying to make the game fun for you guys. I hope that this video has been informational and fun to watch. All right, that's it for me for this one. I guess I'll see you next time.